the sun, it is sleeping, and the night is still. The stars, they watch over you with twinkling eyes to ward off the darkness till dawn arrives. Have you found him yet? Not yet, Master. Our forces have scoured the four corners of the world, but the Luminary is nowhere to be found. He is dead then. Good. If that is the case, then this world is mine. Mordigan has played his hand. The game is all but won. A shroud of deepest darkness has eclipsed the shining sun. And yet, amid the shadows, glimmer tiny specks of light. Faint, flickering flames that rage against the coming of the night. How can such sparks of hope remain when darkness rules the land? Now evil reigns supreme. Who has the strength to take a stand? What happened? Where... where am I? I'm alive. But how? Sylve! Sylve! Oh, thank goodness you're all right. Sylve! Stay with me, Sylve! Come on, pull yourself... <sighs> oh, there you are. You... Hmm? Oh, oh, sure, Davy, honey. I... I was just getting a little air. Being cooped up in that cabin was driving me crazy, you know? Oh, come on, Sylv. Cheer up, will ya? I don't think I can take much more of this moping. That day, when Mordegon... There was nothing I could do. He was just too powerful. I thought it was the end for me. For all of us. But this, this is worse than death. To wake up and find everybody gone, and the world consumed by darkness. <sighs> I'm sorry, Dave, but I just, I can't do this. I know I should feel lucky to be alive, but without the others, I'm nothing, nobody. Right. That's enough of that. Huh? Have you lost your bleeding marbles? Since when were them mates of yours the types to let some Lord of Shadows numpty get the better of them, eh? How about you have a bit of bleeding faith in them like you used to? Or did you think saving the world was gonna be easy or something? Oh. Dave, darling, you're right. 
If a slip of a thing like me was able to get out of that tangle with Mordagon alive, then the others must have done too. And here I am feeling sorry for myself instead of getting out there and trying to find them. What would Veronica and Eric say if they saw me like this? That's more bleeding like it. It's good to have you back, me old mucker. Hmm. <laughs> oh, it's good to be back, believe me. Now, enough chit-chat. It's time for action. We need to make land at the nearest port and find out just how much of a mess the world is in. And once we've done that, we can make a start on fixing it. Sounds like a plan, Sylv. Nearest arbor to here would be over in Gondolia. I'll plot a course right away. That sounds just perfect, honey. Anchors away! Hoist the mainsail! Gondolia, here we come! <laughs> aye, aye, Captain. of those minstrel types, are you? Look, if it's money you want, you'd better go and hassle someone else. I haven't got a penny to give you. Sorry, darling. No can do. It's against my policy to leave people all alone when they look as dumb in the dumps as you do. <sighs> look, why don't you just tell me what's on your mind? A problem shared is a problem halved. Hmm? That's better. Now we can talk properly. Silvando, entertainer extraordinaire at your service. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, my name's Tetsu. I'm a blacksmith from Hotto, though I haven't been back in a long old while. I'll tell you my story if you really want, but I'm warning you, it doesn't have a happy ending. After all those years away, I thought it was time for me to finally head home, see how my mother was doing, you know. But then the minute I set out on my journey, Yggdrasil fell. That just made me even more desperate to get back, of course. I was so worried about her. I managed to make it as far as Gondolia, but then my luck finally ran out. My luggage was stolen by a gang of thieves who've been terrorizing the town. The Beastly Boys, they call themselves. I can't make the journey to Hotto without all my things. Especially not the lilies of the valley I bought for my mother. They're her favorite flower. I wanted to give them to her to say, well, to say sorry for being away for so long. For leaving her all alone. <laughs> Oh, honey, believe me, I know exactly how you feel. Fear not, friend. Your mother will get her flowers. Dave and I will make sure of that. All you need to do is tell us where we can find these beastly boys. Oh, well, if you're sure. There are two merchants, brothers who run establishments in the southern part of town. I've heard that the beastly boys have been hanging around causing trouble at the older one's store. A stall in the south of town, huh? All right, we'll be back before you know it. Dave, darling, let's roll. W wait. Look, I appreciate you trying to help me, 
but these are real thugs we're talking about here. And no offense, but you're just an entertainer, right? I wouldn't want you getting hurt. <laughs> oh, don't you worry about me, sweetie. I'm more than just a pretty face, you know? Don't mind. What we gonna do with this horrible lot then, Sylv? Well, beastly they may be, but they're not exactly the dangerous thugs we heard about. They can barely swing a sword. What's your story, boys, huh? We didn't start out as criminals. We were fishermen. I'm very happy fisherman at that. But after Yggdrasil fell, he couldn't take the boats out anymore. Have you seen the sea lately? It's swarming with monsters. Things were just impossible. Most days, we barely had anything to eat. The world might as well have ended that day. We lost our families. We lost everything. And no one came to help us. So we had to choose between a life of crime or starving to death. And that's no choice at all. Watch closely, darlings. This is just an ordinary steel pike, yes? Mm hmm Think again! <laughs> From arms to... Who's for fresh bread, huh? <gasps> bon appetit, beastly boys! Eat your fill and forget your wicked ways. You'll be beaming again before you know it. Wait! Who... Who are you? Me? Oh, nobody. Just someone who likes to see people smile. <laughs> <sighs> ah. 